Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So now I'm going to start a new topic in business statistics too. The new topic is time series analysis. So in this topic, in this video, I'm going to explain you about the meaning definition of time series, characteristics of time series, analysis of time series, objectives of time series analysis, utility of time series analysis, and components of time series. So these are the topics I'm going to explain you in detail in this video. So before starting any problems on time series, you must have the concept clear. You must have the clear concept about the different terms in time series analysis. Then only you can be able to understand the problems. Apart from that in examination, very frequently they will ask a theory question regarding the meaning of the time series. What is time series analysis? What are the objectives? What are the utility of time series analysis? Components of time series analysis? Very frequently this question will be asked. So watch the video till the end to get a complete command on the concept of this time series analysis. Now, uh, first of all, I'm going to explain you the meaning and definition of time series. First of all, statistics. Statistics is concerned with collection of data, classification, tabulation and analysis. So the main I mean, uh, theme of this uh, business statistics, it is concerned with collection of data. Then after collecting the data, classifying, analyzing, then making the interpretation. So data is the main source which is required in statistics. So here example of data are, for example, production, sales, uh, I mean profit, income, all these are the variables, all this is the data, the data should be collected, it should be classified, it should be analyzed, it should be tabulated. So here, in time series analysis, we collect the data and present the data according to time, according to time. So when the data, when the variable is collected and recorded according to time, it will give you many interesting information example a company a company is uh, has given the data regarding its profit for the last five years the five years profits are recorded year 2010 11 12 13 14 2010 11 12 13 14 five years profit the profit reco recorded against the year so by seeing the profit we can be able to know whether the profit is increasing or declining or fluctuating or remaining constant some information we can be able to get if we present the phenomena if we present the variables along with time so similar is the case in case of government the government will present the information regarding the agricultural production industrial production export import and a number of other variables like reserves foreign exchange reserves then taxes all these things, if the data is arranged according to time, chronological order, we can get a lot of information from this data if presented according to time. This is time series. The different definitions are given for time series. The time series is the presentation, is the presentation of data according to time. When variables are collected and recorded according to time period, that is called a time series. Simple example, a company has recorded the sales of last five years. A company has recorded the production of the last five years. First year, how much production? Second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. Similarly, five years sales. First year sales, second year sales, third, fourth, fifth. So along with the time, we are recording the variable. That is called time series. So if we present the data in time series form, we can be able to get a lot of information. We can use it for taking decisions, right? Here are two variables, it is a bivariate analysis. Time series is a bivariate maker where one variable is always time and time is independent. The other variable is the phenomena for which we are studying. The phenomena may be a sales, production, profit, income, population, etc. So the variables we have taken, the other variable. So two variables are there, time and variable. So this is called time series. Now characteristics of time series, homogeneous values. 
when we are arranging the variables the variables will should be same we should not mix up the variables example if we record 10 years data in that 10 year one year we are taking sales second year we are taking profit third year we are taking production like this if different variables are recorded along with time period that is not called a time series analysis that is not called time series time series means the variable should be homogeneous same no change secondly values must be with reference to time the values when written should refer to a particular time the time period may be year it may be month it may be week it may be day so it is not necessary that time means always year we can arrange the data monthly that is also a time series if we data if we record the data daily basis that is also a time series time means anything ranging from year to month to weeks to hours next long period of time if we record the data only for one or two years it is not called time time series time series requires a long period of time, uh, long period of time data recorded like 5 years 10 years 15 years like that long period of time if we record the data that is called time series next one the gap between time period should be equal the time gap should be equal for example if we have taken the sales of 2010 then next we have taken 2014 next we have taken 2015 next to 2018 if the gap is not same then it will not be called a time series the gap should be equal every year when we have taken 2010 the next data will be recorded in 2011 the next data will be recorded in 2012 like that the time gap should be same these are the characteristic features of time series now analysis of time series when we record the data when we record the data of uh, a variable at different time periods the data will be the data will be different for example the sales of 2010 100 lakhs then 2011 120 lakhs then 2012 130 lakhs like that every year the sales are different now we want to analyze what are the reasons that makes these changes in the variable why the variable are changing from one year to another year from one year to another year the variable is changing what is the reason why it is changing we have to analyze because after analyzing we will be in a position to take some decisions we'll get the information what are the reason why the variables are changing what are the factors that affects the changes in the values of the variable so analysis of variance means dissecting or finding out the reason why the values of the variables are changing from one year to another year that is analysis of variance now objectives of time series analysis why we study time series analysis what is the objective why we record all the variables along with time so the objectives are evaluating the past performance we want to evaluate our past performance for example xyz company the xyz company wants to find out the sales of the last 10 years in order to find out whether in the last 10 years our how we have performed how the sales have changed every year so to study the past performance we need time series secondly to make future forecast to make future forecast that means with the help of past information past data we can be able to forecast about the future thirdly to make short term and long term strategies planning the management's main function is planning making the strategies both short term and long term strategies for making this planning short term long term strategies the management needs information so this time series data will provide the information to the management for making the planning short term planning and long term planning so these are the objectives of time series analysis now utility of time series utility means benefits usefulness so why this time series analysis is useful so first helps understanding the past behavior by analyzing the data of time series
when the data is analyzed in time series we can be able to evaluate the past performance how we have performed in the past we can be able to analyze it that's the uh, that's the main utility helps in planning for future operations once we have once we have seen that past performance we have seen the past performance we can be able to predict about the future normally the past will never recur again in future but still <coughs> for making future planning we require a standard we require some basic information about the past on the basis of the past information we can be able to make the future forecasting future planning next helps in evaluating the current achievements by comparing actual with expected achievements when we have analyzed the time series analyze the data in time series we can be able to compare what is our actual accomplishment and what are the expected achievement expected data so we can be able to compare what we have expected and what we have achieved so that we can be able to evaluate our performance whether we are performing good or not next one helps in forecasting the behavior of phenomena in future the main function of the management is planning so for planning purpose this time series analysis will be very very helpful next one helps in isolation of the impact of various factors affecting time series in time series the data is affected by a number of factors on a number of factors the data are affected so we can isolate the individual factor to find out what is the effect of each factor on the variable what is the effect of each factor on the variable so this shows the importance utility of time series so time series analysis is very important not only to businessmen but it is also equally important to economist it is equally important to sociologist so for every specialist this every field of study this time series data is very very important for example an economist an economist wants to find out what is the change in the national income what is the change in the production population and the consumption import export for all the data the economist needs to uh, record it in time series way similarly businessman a businessman wants to analyze the data regarding the production regarding the sales regarding the income of the people regarding the market situation competitors government policy all these things so this shows the utility of time series analysis now i am coming to the next topic called components of time series see here, there are many factors which affects the values to change example last 5 years data is given or last 10 years sales are given of xyz company the sales may not be same the sales will fluctuate sometimes the sales will be more the sometimes the sales will be less so what are the factors which affects the sales on what factors the sales are changing from year to year so broadly we divide it into components of time series the components of time series are secular trend or long term movement secular trend or long term movement second seasonal variation cyclical variation and lastly irregular or random variation so we will divide the components of time series into four parts secular trend seasonal variation cyclical variation and random or irregular variations right so by analyzing this we can be able to evaluate analyze the data past data the time series data we can be able to evaluate and get the information by using that information the management can be able to make the planning for future so this is regarding the components of time series so we'll continue this in the next video